Stay close now, Lily. The supermarket is a big place. Don't wander off. Or be naughty in any way. Really? I thought the supermarket was an explorable place. Since you've warned me of the dangers of getting lost I'll stay at your side. That's my little girl. I'll let you look at the toys afterwards if you behave. You have my word on it. Can I get something for you and Dad to share? I'll pay my pocket money for it. That's very sweet of you to offer, sweetheart but we only gave you 50p a week. You're a good girl, always thinking about others. 50p a week? That's not a problem in the slightest. I'll think of something. You've been saving haven't you? I might have been. Stop that. How dare you behave this way in public. That's very naughty. Not this again. Ivy, you're six years older than me, and you're having a tantrum in public? Seriously? Stop it. But I want that new swing ball game. I told you it's too expensive right now. I don't have 50 pounds to blow on it. Stop with this tantrum, right now. I feel bad for you, Sally. Your sister does this all the time. And Ivy, you need to learn that just because you see something you want. That doesn't mean you can have it. Why? Do you want it all to yourself? To be honest, I have better things to do with my time, like spending it with my family, of whom I love to bits. Listen to her, Ivy. Why? She's only four. And very mature for her age. When we tell her she can't have something, she accepts it, and you, on the other hand, are very naughty. Shut up, you stupid cow. Oh no you didn't. Just insult my mother like that. She's not some farm animal that gives milk. You are just a spoiled little brat, and moo. I mean you. Need to grow up. That's it. I have had enough of this. Ivy Vanessa Jones, as of now, you are grounded for seven weeks. How dare you act up in public, and insult Millie and her daughter. I reject that, you ungrateful swine. Oh you just wait till I get you home Missy. It's you who is the ungrateful little swine. How dare you speak to me like that. You are going straight to bed when we get in. You are being really naughty. I'll wet myself. What a baby. Put a nappy on. You jolly well need one. No I don't. I'll be the judge of that. You are having nappies on. Until you show me a mature attitude. Ten year olds do not behave this way. But Lily is the baby around here. Not me. Ivy, you better take that back if you know what's good for you. Lily no. Don't react with violence. You know better than that. This has gone far enough. I'm very sorry for my sister's behavior. Shouldn't she be the one who apologizes? She won't do it properly, Mum. When she used foul language around me she gave me a joke of an apology. Ivy. You really are, a very naughty girl. Apologies are meant to be felt with heart for sincerity. Change your baby's nappy. Seriously Ivy. Shut up. Ivy, if you don't stop behaving this way, I will make sure your punishment fits your behavior. Being naughty in public makes me look bad, and it's really embarrassing. I can see you ending up in jail one of these days if you don't wisen up. Keep your nose out of it, and stop being such a goody two-shoes. I'd rather be good than naughty. It's way better. Ivy. When we get home, I'll be putting a nappy on you, and putting you to bed. How dare you be naughty over not getting that swing ball set. That girl is just so naughty. Let's get on. That's all for now folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and learned that being naughty in public is a big no-no. It embarrasses and makes your parents or carers look bad. Next time on the Lily Barrett Saga. Bullying.